It's a tense situation for Muskoka's emergency rooms. While we likely won't be seeing ER availability times shrinking or disappearing altogether, there is a long wait if you're heading to the ER, and it's not getting any shorter, according to Max, new CEO Cheryl Harrison. Well, we are very busy, uh, uh, both sites, uh, in terms of the acuity that's coming into the emergency department and the volume. And our staff are doing a tremendous, amazing job uh, looking after our patients, but it's getting tough. Uh, we do have uh, vacancies that mm -hmm. we're trying to fill aggressively. Um, however, uh, many shifts go uh, short and people just show up every day and try to do their best to serve our patients. In the GTA, some emergency rooms have been forced to shorten hours or close altogether. Again, while that may not happen here tomorrow, it's not off the table for the near future, says Harrison. What is the, I guess, what would be the likelihood of us seeing something like that happening here in Muskoka as has, has been happening in Toronto right now? Well, um, I would like to say never. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to say it's a never event. Uh, I can't say that. Uh, we do everything we possibly can. We have looked at different models of care. As I said, people coming back on their vacation. So there's a number of things we go through before we would uh, consider that. Okay. And I give you an opportunity here, Cheryl, just to talk about how much work your staff is putting in right now, because I know they are working their butts off. Mm -hmm. uh, and I really want to clarify that point to the people of Muskoka that they're, they're not going home at five o'clock, right? Like they're mm -hmm. not doing a nine to five shift. They are, are doing their best to, to keep that open, right? Absolutely. And, and all our team members. So our frontline staff members, nurses, uh, respiratory therapists, medical lab technologists, diagnostic technologists. They come in, oftentimes they're doing overtime. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes they've signed up to be part-time and they're putting in full-time hours every two weeks. Our physicians who um, are usually a phone call away in case their colleagues need them in the emergency department, um, everybody's coming and stepping up. I asked our MPP Graydon Smith to weigh in on the issue and what the province is doing to help counteract it. You know, it's very clear that our government is, you know, seized of the matter uh, at hand and, and wants to improve it uh, and is taking steps to improve it and has made a lot of investments in, in the health care system. All those can have an immediate impact, but, the, you know, those investments are there and, and will continue and those conversations will continue on, you know, how we can, um, you know, get through uh, this point in time and, and have a healthy and robust system in the future. Locally, been in touch with our, our leaders uh, at both uh, Mac and at uh, West Perry Sound Health Centre and uh, making sure that uh, I'm up to speed on, on what's going on and you know I'm helping wherever I can in terms of uh, any dialogue that needs to happen. Well, I think there's uh, you know a lot of people obviously requiring services and, and wait times are uh, longer than, than many people would wish them to be in Muskoka. That tends to happen on, on a seasonal basis anyways, and we know that we've uh, had a challenge with uh, the, the recruitment side for, for some time now. Um, and uh, you know we'll continue again to work as hard as we can uh, to make sure that the proper investments are being made, uh, not only uh, in Ontario, but in this area as well.